Hey everybody, I'm Stacy Lynn and today I am making pimento cheese. If you're a southerner, you have to have pimento cheese in your repertoire. So I'm going to show you how I make it a little bit different, but it's so much better just from this one ingredient. All right, first you're gonna need an eight ounce package of cream cheese. And it's best if it's at room temperature. If it isn't, you can probably warm it up if you use your handy dandy KitchenAid, okay? And I also have a quarter cup of mayonnaise. Now I have a little bit left out over here just in case I need it to be a little bit more moist for my liking. But for now, this is the way I'm gonna start it. And I'm gonna go ahead and get that nice and cream. Yep, okay. My cream cheese was nice and, and soft. All right, so that's looking pretty good. Okay, a little bit more. I'm gonna let it go for just a few minutes more. While I'm doing that, I'm gonna be grating my cheese. That's what's going in next. Of course, you gotta have cheddar cheese. All right, so that's all good and creamed. And now I'm gonna be making, I'm gonna put this, just about this whole entire block. It's eight ounces of cheddar cheese and you do not wanna get the store-bought cheese. That cheese is only going to be dry and disgusting and you will not like pimento cheese if you don't use real cheddar cheese. I like sharp cheddar cheese. Um, sometimes I even make this with three-year-old cheddar cheese that I get at Costco. Um, any specialty cheddar cheese is probably going to be great, but you still need to grate it yourself. Okay, every celebration that we go to as Southerners, you're going to have somebody there with some pimento cheese. And you can eat, them, eat it with vegetables, you can put it on crackers, you can do just about anything. You can put it, mostly I eat it in sandwiches or on a piece of toast. Um, you can add chicken to the top of it. We do all kinds of stuff with pimento cheese. You can also, well, if you're a Southerner, you will always be talking about chicken salad too. Everybody loves chicken salad here. And you, you do you put pecans in yours? Are you a purist, you know, with your uh, chicken salad? I'll be making that very soon. I have both of these recipes in my new book, Love Language of the South. Almost finished grating this cheese. Of course, you could use a food processor for this, but I would rather only have to clean one thing, especially if I'm not making a ton of it. If I was making three times a recipe, I'd have my food processor out for sure. All right. So I had probably 12 ounces this block, so I'll stop here. All right, so now just gonna add that go. Now I made a huge mess on my workspace, but hey, that's what cooking is all about, I suppose. So I'm going to start mixing this up. I'm going to add a half of a teaspoon of garlic powder, a quarter of a teaspoon of onion powder, and about a quarter, I mean an eighth of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. I'm going to add that to this mixture that all in. Okay. Let that go for another minute or so. Okay, I'm going to scrape down the sides. All right, I'm now going to put in my secret ingredient. Okay, so pimentos are what normally you would do. So you just buy a can of pimentos. But I feel like the pimento cheese needs something to cut the the just the, the the fat in this to just give it some little kick and to me olives are awesome so i am putting olives with the red pimentos already in them so it's pimento cheese but it's also olives um into this mixture so i have a cup of olives here and i'm just gonna cut them up roughly chop these and again you could use a food processor for this or you know whatever but why not just cut them so it's not going to take but just a second but i feel like that you know this is a better alternative than capers but capers will also give you that 
salty brininess in, in it, but then you'd have to also get the pimentos because it's pimento cheese after all. Okay, so I'm just gonna just chop, 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 chop. Okay, we're gonna get this going. There we go, and I need a sharper knife. So my daughter's boyfriend made this one for me and I absolutely love it, but I've been using it and now it needs to be sharpened. And, you know, I don't think he was um, in the, the uh, job market for sharpening knives after he made them. So <laughs> I'm not sure. He probably will do it, but, you know, I hate to say anything. All right, I could probably sharpen it myself. I think I have a honing steel. We, we sharpen our other stuff with the honing steel, so I think I, can, I think I can manage that. Okay, this is almost ready. I don't wanna to get too big of a bite of olive in there, but I do want this flavor in there, and I love this. But of course, y'all, I don't know how many of you are going to agree with this, but when I was in high school, there was this fantastic sandwich that I love to make. So I'm a big fan of blue cheese. In fact, I have a, a, a blue cheese recipe here on YouTube channel that I make and pretty much keep in my refrigerator at all times. So I absolutely love blue cheese. And so I would put cream cheese on a piece of toast and it had to be hot so it would kind of melt. And then I would add olives just like this to some, um, actually that's what I did. I added olives to the cream cheese and I mixed it all up and then I put that on the hot bread. And then in the middle of it, I put blue cheese. And I ate those every day after school for like a year. I haven't had one in a really long time, and now I'm thinking, was that really that good? I'm going to have to try it again and see. Okay, now for the green onions. So this is really my last um, ingredient, but I'm just going to cut these green onions up and put them into the pimento cheese, and then I'm going to be done. I'm going to save a few of them out just to for you know presentation later. But for the most part, I'm going to put these in to the pimento cheese. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. Put that in there. Okay, and now I'm going to stir this up. Here we go. It's looking delicious. I am just going to scrape down the sides of the bowl, give it one more good mix, and then we'll be ready to eat it. Plate it up and eat it. It's really quite simple. Oh yeah, I'm gonna give it a couple of hits of hot sauce. One, whoa, that was a big hit. I think that'll be, <laughs> I think that's gonna be good, okay. There we go, did you see that? I thought it had a, like a little tiny hole over the top, but it did not. It's just big. So if you get a big one, be careful. This is gonna be spicy. I'm gonna put this in here, okay? So this is the Southern, I don't know if you could, you, we call our black eyed peas Southern caviar, and I believe this is called the Southern pate or pate of the south. Okay, all right, so here we go. Look at this. Okay, I've got to, I've got to get a little taste of this. All right, put this spoon right over here. People can just dollop it. You can have this outside like, or you know, sitting out at your dinner parties or whatever you've got going on, take it to church, whatever, and people, and, and put some celery, some vegetables out, some crackers out, and they can just come by, put a, put a couple of crackers on a plate or just do what I just did, dip in, just hopefully they won't double dip. Mm, mm-hmm. 
I did not put any salt and pepper, and y'all, this is not too hot. That big old wallet of the hot sauce did it a little favor. It's very good. It's kind of in the back of your throat, barely there. Um, but I didn't put any salt and pepper in this. It doesn't need it when you do a briny thing like the, um, the olives. So there is that. Y'all, this is so good. I believe that I'm going to make myself at least a piece of toast. So let me cut a piece of this off of here. Okay. Toast with this lovely, and I'm going to load it up because who wants just a little bit of pimento cheese? Nobody. That's the answer. Nobody. So then I can do this, and then I can put a few of the onions over the top. And now I've got this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful appetizer or meal, depending on how you eat it. So I am going to go and eat this, sit down, read a book. I don't know, something to relax. <laughs> Apparently I need to. I keep putting tons of um, hot sauce on my stuff. This will really wake me up though. Look at that. That's going to be great. Can't wait. All right. See y'all next time.